Okay. So preparation for measurement. So first we need to adjust the adjustment of the meter is be zero position. So turn the zero position adjuster so that the pointer may align to the zero position. Then the range selection or selection arrange or proper for item to be measured with the range selector knob. So you need also to set the range selector knob to whatever um, setting that you want to set. No? When determining the measuring range, select the range for the higher voltage, higher than the value to be measured. So your, for example, if you, are, if you have an estimate on what value of the voltage that you are going to show, suppose 230, so you must set your multi-tester higher than the expected no? value of to be measured. So you need to set your multi-tester to 250 volts or 1,000 volts. However, select the maximum range if the, if, the measure to be, if the value to be measured cannot be predicted. For example, if you don't have an idea or an estimate on the value that you are going to measure, so just select the highest. So for example, if you move more tester, the highest setting is 1,000. So select the highest, select 1,000 for your initial setting. So yes, using the multi-tester, the meter, to measure AC voltage. So first, turn the range selector knob to an appropriate AC range. Apply the test leads to measured circuit. Read the movement of the pointer by DCA. So use AC 10 volt scale for 10 volt range only. Then using the meter to measure DC voltage, no? So set the range knob to the appropriate DC range. Apply the black test pin to the negative or the minus potential of the measured circuit and the red test pin to the plus or the positive potential. Then um, read the movement of the pointer from DC VA. Then using the meter to measure DC current. So turn the range selector knob to an appropriate DC range. Take out measured circuit and apply the black test pin to the negative or the minus potential and the red test pin to the positive potential. Then read the movement of the pointer by DC VA. So this DC VA Okay, so this is the DCVA, this one, no? So meaning that is the scale, no? We go back to that one. Um, then we have using the meter to measure DC current. So turn the range selector knob to an appropriate DC range. Take out the measured circuit. I believe it is uh, DC current, no? And then that. So using the meter to measure DC current. So warning, do not measure a resistance in a circuit where a voltage is present, no? So we need, we will not uh, measure resistance. So I believe this is not DC, but this is to measure resistance, no? A typographical error there. Okay, so do not measure resistance in a circuit where a voltage is present. Then make sure that the zero ohm adjustment after every change of the measurement range to obtain are more accurate reading. So we need to have our uh, zero ohms at the appropriate setting. No? So we need also our pointer to be on the zero ohm position. So how do we going to do that? We will use our zero ohm adjuster. Then turn the range selector knob to the upper point ohmmeter range. Then short the red and black test pins and turn the zero adjuster so that the pointer may align exactly to the zero ohms. So note, if the pointer fails to swing up to zero ohms, even when the 
zero ohm adjuster is turned clockwise fully, then it means that the battery is low. So replace the internal battery with a fresh one or a fully or a fully charged battery. Now we will go to the reading, no? the volt ohm milliameter. So for AC, DC, and DCA, so when we say ACV, that is alternating current voltage range, DCB is direct current voltage range, and DCA, that is direct current ammeter range. So read only the appropriate scale corresponding to the setting as shown in the figure. Count the number of lines between the line pointed by the pointer and the zero volts. No? Multiply the number of lines to the voltage value per line corresponding to the figure. So this is the figure. So if you are going to read zero volts and zero um, amperes, so this is these are the scale that we are going to read no? so for this one and the lower scale so the pointer before um, making any test no? or measurements so you must make sure that your tester or your pointer is pointing on the zero so this part here okay then we have here the values so for 250, so ACB 250 and uh, DCB 250, so the setting per line is 5 volts. Okay, so we need to, this is number 2, okay, so this is number 2, so the, the scale for 250 is this one. So we see 5 volts per line, every line here is equal to 5 volts. So for example, if our pointer will be pointing on this uh, part of the scale, so we need to count the number of lines from 0 to this point. So that will be uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Then our setting was, is on the 250 volt scale. No, So that is 5 per line so we have five lines so times five so we have 25 volts so this reading here will be 25 volts okay then for ac50 no or dc50 that is one volt per line so that is number three so this is number three so we will also follow the upper, no? the upper scale. That is one volt per line. So for example, if our pointer will be pointing on this part of the scale here, this line, so we need to count from zero. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, that will be so 10 times 1, because we are on 50 volt range, so the, the reading will be 10 volts, okay? So for AC 1000, that is number 4. So we need to read this one, this scale. So going back, so the um, volt per line is 20 volts, no? 20 volts per line. For example, if we the pointer is on this pointing on this line, so we just count from zero to this this line here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten times twenty, that will be two hundred volts. Okay. And the last one will be. ACV 10, no? ACV 10, so 0 0.2 per line, so it is number 5, so we'll be reading on this side, so for example, the pointer is pointing on this 
line here. So from 0 to this line, that will be 10. That's like the example a while ago. So 10 times 0.2, that will be 2. No? 2. So the reading will be 2 volts. Now if you are going to read the ohmmeter, no? if you are set on the ohmmeter setting, so read only the ohmmeter scale. So the ohmmeter scale is located in this part, no? upper part. So the zero ohms is on the this side, no? the rightmost side, and the the infinity or the highest setting will be on the left side. So count the number of lines. So the same process between the line pointed by the pointer and the zero ohms. Multiply the number of lines to the scale multiplier and the voltage value per line corresponding to the table. So this is the table. So value, so 0 to 2, that will be 0.2. And we have 2 to 10, that is 0 0.5. 10 to 20, that will be 1. 20 to 50, 2, 50 to 105, 100 to 220, and 200 to 575. No? So maybe we should copy this table here. No? So we have here 0 to 2. So from 0 to 2, the value of each line here is 0 0.2. So we have 0 to this first line will be 0 0.2 up to this line. You know? Then from 2 to 10, so 2 to 10, the value of each line is 0 0.5. And from 10 to 20, so 10 to 20, that will be 1, no? 1 ohm. 20 to 50, so that will be 2. No? Each line will be 2. Then 50 to 100, so that is 20. And uh, 200, no? 200 to 500, that will be 75. In 1K, 2K, and infinity. Okay. So, for example, if our pointer will be pointing on this one here. It will be pointing on this line here. This one. So that is between 2 and and 10. So the value for each line on 2 and 10 is 0 0.5. So this point, so we have 2, then 1, 2, 2 lines, no? So 2 times 0 0.5, that will be 1. And we have an initial rating here of 2. So 2 plus 1, that will be 3. Then, for example, the setting of our multi-taster is 1K, no? Times 1K. So the 3 we will also multiply that one with 1k or 1000. So the final reading of our um, multi-tester will be 3000 ohms. Okay. Okay, so let's have some example here. So the setting is 1000. Okay, so 1,000 that is 20 volts per line, no? 20 volts per line. Then the scale that you are going to read is the lower scale, no? It's one. So if you have your answer, so you could um, type that one on our chat box, no? So that is 20 volts per line. So you need to count 
zero to this line here which is pointed by our pointer so this is our pointer okay so do you have your answer so you could just type that one on our chat box Okay, so 520, so 520 volts, okay. Any other answer? So 520, no, yeah. so two of you have already answered 520. No? So Mr. Bellio and Mr. Ariza. Okay, so let's try to answer this one. Okay. Maybe we should zoom. Okay, so if we are going to count from zero to this um, point here, so we should have the original picture. That one, okay, this one. So from zero to this point, so that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten. So this one set here is 10. So this another set is also 10. So 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we have 26 lines. So we have 26. You should have another color for the pen. So we have 26 lines on which that will be the setting is 1000 so that is 20 volt per line so to get the um, reading so we need just to multiply 26 by 20 so 26 multiplied by 20 okay so the answer will be this answer 26 multiplied by 20. 520. 5 520. Okay, so we have 500. 20 you know? so the unit is volts because our setting is in 1000 volts okay so very good no next we will have this one okay so our setting is 250 volts so you will read on this part you no know? The upper part of the voltage scale so that is 250 volts so that will be 5 volts per line okay so I'll give you a few minutes okay so what will be your answer Okay, so 160. 
someone answered 160. So 126, 165. So you have different answers, you know, just um, not like a while ago, you know, from the first example that you all have 520 volts. Okay, so let's check. Okay. So you have here 250 volts setting. So if you are going to count from zero to this line, so from here to here, that will be 10. 10, 20, 30. No? Then you have 1, 2, 3, so 33. So you have 33 lines. Okay. So 33 lines times five no five per line so that will be equal to 165 no and the unit will be volts so there is also a shortcut for this one because the the reading for the tens no the uh, lines were in there are 10 no? from the zero position so for this one zero to this line 50 so because it is 50 because 5 times 10 that is 50 this is 20 times uh, 5 100 and 15 times 5 so 150 so from this one you can see this 150 you just add three lines so which are five per line so 15 plus 150, 165. So you will have still the same readings. Okay, next. Okay, the setting is 50 volts. Okay, what will be your answer? So the um, scale for this one, that is 50, so we use, you will still use the upper scale. And it will be 50, that will be 1 volt per line. Okay? So someone answered 115. Huh? We have 18. Okay. So if it is not set in 250 volts, so this 050, 100, 150, that will be invalid. So that is, uh, this, is, this is just uh, valid. You can use this one if your setting is 250. If not, then do not use because you will have a wrong um, setting or wrong re um, reading of the uh, measurement. Okay, so... 18 volts, someone also said 58. Okay, so let's check. So you have zero to this point. So that will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. So you have eighteen lines which is one volt per line so your answer is so 18 times one so that will be 18 volts no? okay next okay so this is now on the setting of ohms no times 100k okay so what will be your 
reading. So maybe I will put here also the table no? as a guide. Okay. So you just see where the pointer is. So it is 10 to 20. So between 10 and 20. So the value per line for that one will be 1 ohm. Okay. Then after getting the reading, this uh, the reading for this one, you will multiply that one by 100k or 100,000. Okay, so what will be your answer? Okay, so someone wrote 200,000 ohms. So we have also 12, um, this 1,200, no? 1,200. Okay. So after getting the, re the reading, so you need to multiply that one by 100,000, no? Okay. Okay, so let's check now for those who have submitted their answer. Okay. So that is zero, uh, that is 10 to 20. That will be one ohm per line. Okay. So we have here 10. So this is already 10. So from 10 to 20, each line between that one will be equal to 1 ohm. So we have 10, this is 11, this is 12. So we have 12. Okay. So our initial reading is 12 ohms. But we have the multiplier for our setting that will be 100k or 100,000. So we need to multiply this one by 100,000. And the answer will be 1,200, oh, 1,200,000 ohms, okay, or 1.2 mega ohms, okay. Okay, next, this, I believe this will be our last, no, example. Okay, so the setting is times 1K, okay, times 1K. So the reading is between 20 to 50. No, 20 to 50. So maybe I will get the table. Okay. So the reading is 20, between 20 and 50. So it is 2 volts, no? At uh, 2 volts, 2 ohms per line. So these lines here are equivalent to 2 ohms. Okay, so what will be your reading? So we have 62,000, 32K, no? 32 kilo ohms. Okay, any other? So 32,000 or 32 k so the same. Okay, 
Okay, so 62. Okay, so D2 is for each line, no? not to be multiplied by 2. Okay, so let's check now your answers. Okay. So we have... So from 30... Uh, 20, no, 20. 20 to 50. So that is 2. 2 ohms. So here we have already 30 ohms. So we have... A line here so which is that is equal to 2 ohms so that will be 30 plus 2 so we'll have 32 ohms hmm? then our 32 ohms we will multiply that one by the setting no that which we which is 1k or 1000 So we have times 1,000. So we will have 32 kilo ohms or 32 K ohms or 32,000 ohms. Okay. So that will be the answer. Okay, so any questions? Okay, so I believe there is no question no? because you have also managed to answer how to get the reading of the multi-tester. So now we'll just um, have the, maybe we'll have the uh, recap, no? for this discussion for this afternoon. Okay, so, key points for this one. Okay, so, a multi-tester is a very important um, instrument which is used no? not only to read um, the uh, to read to read different electrical parameters but also to give the technicians or the electrical practitioner an idea what is the trouble no? or the fault of a electrical circuit or electrical wiring and you have two types that will be the analog and the digital and parts no? of an analog multi-tester. For the digital multi-tester, the only um, parts that is not uh, found in a digital multi-tester is the pointer, the scale, the infinity adjuster, and the zero ohm adjuster. So the Range indicator, the, ring, the range selector knob, and the pointer are also present on a digital multi-tester. Then the proper care and maintenance. So we need to set our multi-tester in the proper setting. Always check the battery to avoid wrong readings. Then if it is not in use, so we need to turn off that one or to set to 100 volts and never drop the tester. Reading, so we need to set it correctly. Then if you are reading for the zero of the, are reading for the voltage or the amperes, so you must start reading on the zero volt or amperes, which is on the left side of the scale. If it is on the ohms, so it is on the right side, the zero ohms. Then you must use the proper value per scale no? or per line. So for, 
or voltage. So this are the settings and the value per line for ohms. So this are the value. And we need to count the number of lines from zero to the point and which uh, to the line which the pointer is uh, pointing. Then multiply that one by the proper um, value per line. Or if you are if you are set on the zero ohms, so also mul multiply with the multiplier of the setting, and you will get the proper reading. Okay, so I believe that will be the discussion for this afternoon. Okay, so a copy of this discussion, uh, the, the recorded copy will be also posted on our Google Classroom. And um, at 3.30, I will be um, sending to you your assignment. No assignment. So the assignment was just all about uh, reading the multi tester. Okay. So I hope you learned something in this afternoon. So thank you for joining. And as always, have a great afternoon ahead. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. God bless. Thank you, sir. Hey, God bless. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you.